was at Plymouth. I picked up a cup one day from my breakfast table and was sick. Like that. Couldn't stop it. So I talked to the club doctor who uh, sent me to see a specialist. And he, he, he told me I, I was, uh, had uh, Parkinson's. In 2008, Paul Sturrock announced that he'd been diagnosed with Parkinson's disease in 2000. I just couldn't believe it. And, and went through the YME syndrome. As the seasons have rolled on, I've got worse, but not a touch of it. I was saying, uh, it's uh, not caught me up totally. He was on to me about coming down as a coach and he just asked me what was I doing the weekend. And I just said, well, I'll probably be going to a game, probably doing this, doing that. He says, come down. I said, I'm not driving all the way down to Plymouth from Sheffield. He says, it's now not come down. I want to have a chat with you. I knew there was something going on. And it was a Saturday morning. He was on the training ground. He came over to shake my hand and embrace you. Because you never got a cuddle off. And you'd, you'd get a handshake if you were lucky. And he walked away. And his leg wasn't quite uh, functioning correctly. And I pulled him and I said, what's going on there? And uh, he says, uh, well, that's part of the reason why I brought you down. And I says, uh, what do you mean? And he, 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 he just says, I've got Parkinson's. And that was it. And it was, uh, it hit me like a, like a lorry. And uh, he's, he's, he's fought every, ever since. I had seven chairmans disregarding me because of that. I can see the point of view. In my eyes, he still should be involved in the game when I need uh, advice. He's the first one I turn to, he's the first one I, I pick up the phone to. And while Paul Sturrock hasn't managed professionally since 2015, the fire still burns inside. Yeah, well, we tried to build, put a team together in uh, the village. We, the pitch was sorted and we had all the changes were sorted. But because of COVID, we couldn't get any players to play. It was unbelievable. I just wanted to coach players. That's all I want. I just to be able to train, go on the training group, do bits and pieces with individual. But I might, I might still do that. I think I've described Paul as fearless. He's faced his illness with the same courage and indeed cheerfulness that is the mark of the man. I'm mean, just a way to take up fishing again. I've got a metal detector, so I'm going to do a wee bit of finding out if there's any doubloons in these lagoons in, in Cornwall.